The reality of giving up control of the most important day of her life is becoming all too real for Kaylee, as it dawns on her where she is. I know where we are, I know where we are. Shut the fuck up, why are we here? <laughs> oh, how look? Absolutely beautiful. She looks lovely. You look like a princess. Cheers, Tony. <gasps> I'm the shoes. <laughs> so pretty. Aww. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> she might be happy, but Steve senses there's a storm brewing. It is going to rain. At last, the princess bride is ready to make her elegant exit. For fuck's sake. But what will the bride make of Steve's spooky choice of transport? Oh, well, at least it matches the bridesmaids. <gasps> oh, my God! <gasps> Oh my god! Oh. She likes her car, but she might not be so happy when she finds out where it's taking her. I have an important thing to do. Okay. Request from Steve. I have to put a blindfold on you. Mind my makeup, please. I really <laughs> Please. I've been spent so long doing my eyes. Okay. Kaylee's in the dark about her destination, which might be a good thing. Is it like a fun fair? I can hear music, and I swear I just heard something to a clown. <laughs> what, is he saying to a fun fair before the bloody wedding? Do I look in the mood for a fun fair? The reality of giving up control of the most important day of her life is becoming all too real for Kaylee, as it dawns on her where she is. I know where we are, I know where we are. Shut the fuck up, why are we here? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. I'm not going on a ride, I'm not going on a ride. Well, where do you think we are? Fort Park. We're at Fort Park. We're actually at Fort Park. Why would we be at Fort Park? Because he's a prick. Mum! Why haven't you controlled this? Why am I at Fort Park on my wedding day? OK, let's just go. Come on, it's fine. Right, cos... Where? Right, keep just walking straight. We've all got you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. We've got you. Mate, it's fine. I, I can hear rides and people screaming. If we're at fucking Fort Park, I'm going to go mental. OK. Maybe, maybe just keep the blindfold on then. Why the hell are we at Thor Park on my wedding day? Right, listen to me. Remember, I don't care. My wedding isn't a fucking joke. With no idea why she was brought here, Kaylee's hopes for her perfect wedding day are fading fast. Steve's banking on Kaylee reading the letter and understanding why he's brought her to the stealth ride. I'm scared. I don't want to open my eyes. OK, Kaylee. Stealth. I'm not even in the mood. <sighs> to my beautiful baby. Please don't. Oh, my God. To my gorgeous wife-to-be. These last three weeks have been the hardest weeks of my life and it's really made me realise that I do not want to spend another night without you. You are my princess, you are my soulmate and my best friend and I love you so much it hurts. <laughs> I wanted to bring you back to the place that I knew I can't oh, <laughs> that I knew you were that I knew you was the one. Beautiful grandma babe. The last time we were here the stale fry broke down and there was nowhere to run so we had to stand and talk, which I am not good at but I know you really well because of it. And I fell for you right there and then. I knew from then that I had to have kids with you and marry you. <laughs> the last few weeks have been a roller coaster for me, so please experience a little bit of what I've been through <laughs> and go on now what is my favorite ride of all time, because this is the ride that I found the real you, who I adore. All my loves and kisses for the rest of my life, you're soon to be husband. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Should we just go and have a look for a laugh? No, wait, I'm not going to laugh if I get my dress dirty. My pretty shoes! Finally, the girls managed to convince her to at least try. Why has he done this? For fuck, fucking raping can't show it rape, fucking... Ugh! I don't like scary rides. Are you sick or...? No. Why has he told me to do this in my wedding no, no, dress? Don't. I think it's just as stupid as you do. For fuck's sake! I just don't understand. I just right. really don't fucking get Could it. Did you not have the hoop for the arm No, I don't want to do this. I'm sorry. No. No, I'm not doing it. No. I just want to go. 
So you've done all of this for no reason whatsoever. What a fucking prick. Why has he done this to me? I just want to go. Bandy, babe, let's just roll. As a furious Kaylee storms off, the guests are beginning to arrive at Oatlands Park. And Steve is on tenterhooks. I don't think I've ever felt this nervous in my life. I'm starting to feel sick. Fuming with rage, the bride still needs to get her hair done. I've got to go and get my hair done in my wedding dress. Hello, for some reason, like a I've got to get my hair done with my dress on. You actually get married today? Yeah. Okay. Within like a matter of hours. Really? Oh, okay. Right, so how would you have it? really sort of big and volumized and sort of like, you know, sort of loose curls, right, so okay. it's Cheryl Paulus. Even if she makes it to the ceremony, will she be in any mood to get married? <laughs> Kaylee's now running 40 minutes late, and clueless Steve is beginning to fear the worst. Unless she didn't like surprises, she's not turned up. Could be that. Back at the salon, and Kaylee has made a transformation. Oh, love it. A Wonder Woman. She has her fashionable hairdo, and she's now running fashionably late. I've had uh, a couple of guests on the phone asking me where we are, asking me how long we're going to be, because everybody's waiting. But it's every bride's prerogative to be late on a big day, so they just have to wait. What's the time? 12. 12 o'clock? Well, you shouldn't have sent me to fucking Fort Park then, should you? No, you shouldn't have sent me to Fort Park. You should have sent me to get your hair done. An hour late, and a smiling bride can finally make her way to see her man. And on seeing the ceremony venue, oh my God. Thorpe Park is a distant memory. Yay! Oh. Mate, you're getting married! Oh my God! Shut up. The nightmare has turned into a dream, and she can't take her eyes off Steve. Please take your seats. From strops to smiles, the morning has been a roller coaster of emotions for Kaylee. And just to make sure she's happy, Steve sends in the clowns. Why are you wearing? <laughs> Stephen, do you take Kaylee to be your wife? I do. Kaylee, do you take Stephen to be your husband? I do. Kaylee, I give you this ring as an everlasting symbol of our marriage and as a token of my love. Stephen, I give you this ring as an everlasting symbol of our marriage. I promise to get you to me, to remain true to you. And above all, to respect and love you always. Thank you, Kelly. So I'm very happy to tell you, you are now husband and wife. Congratulations to you both.